Hi everyone, it's great you're back. I've been recently thinking about my life goals, and not only about school exams and college, but rather long-term goals. Have you ever thought about your life ambitions? Do you know what career path to choose? I have some ideas on the topic to share with you, but I think first, I'll tell you a bit more about my parents' careers, because, well, they are my greatest inspiration in life. My mom used to be a chef at a French restaurant. She was responsible for a lot of tasks requiring skilled work. She created menus and recipes, as well as managed a team of kitchen staff. Even though her performance was brilliant, the job was still not well paid. So one day she decided to quit the restaurant and set up her own small business. Now she's running a cooking website. She's really good at writing recipes and filming videos that make cooking easy and fun. Growing up, I can say it was pretty cool to have a self-employed mom. First, she could choose her working hours. Second, she could take a day off or go on holiday whenever she wanted, so we have always spent a lot of time together. As for my dad, he definitely has much less free time. I've already told you that he's a well-qualified doctor, and as you can imagine, it's a tough job. It seems like my dad is made for it, though. He started out as a nurse when he was still a student and was promoted to a doctor's assistant just in two years. Now dad is the head of the surgical department and he often has to work overtime, especially when he deals with complicated patients. We often get Christmas cards from dad's ex-patients and I believe this helps him stay motivated and keep working hard despite all the difficulties he faces at work. Looking at my parents, who have definitely succeeded in their jobs, I'm also striving for an outstanding career in medicine. So that's how my plans for the future go. In six years, I will graduate from a medical college and then get a job as a trainee in one of the local hospitals. When I gain enough of experience and confidence, I will apply for a position at the Royal London Hospital, one of the best in the country, and of course I'll get the job. Later on, I'll do some volunteer work, for example in Africa, providing medical treatment to children. Then, when I retire, some of my colleagues and I will set up a charity to improve the quality of medicine in emerging countries. Doesn't it sound like a good plan? I want to practice medicine because it's a very rewarding job. And it interests me a lot, but a nice bonus is quite a high salary. Doctors don't earn millions, but they certainly get a stable income. I understand that it takes a lot of effort, dedication and time to achieve my goal. It won't be easy at all, but I'm ready to do my best. In fact, I've already made a little step towards my goal. I got my first part-time summer job. My parents helped me write a CV and I also received several references from my school teachers. My application was quite successful and the employer liked me. So I was invited to a job interview. It was so nerve-wracking, you even can't imagine. But I managed to leave a good impression. Next week will be my first day at work. I'll be working at the reception of a dental office. I know it's more paperwork than actual medicine, but I'm just 17 and I believe it's not a bad way to get my foot in the door. My life motto goes as follows. A journey of thousand miles begins with a single step. What about you? 
Where do you want to be in ten years' time? Do you have your life motto or a quote that inspires you?